Okay, let's turn in our Bibles to the book of Micah. The book of Micah. And let's begin with a word of prayer. Our Father, we do thank you for this time that we have to come apart from the world, to open your word and to consider uh, this uh, Old Testament book. We just pray that uh, as we spend some time in this, that we might uh, better understand the message of the book and the messenger's life as well. Uh, just teach us now, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> So we're looking at the book of Micah. We'll begin by looking at Micah the man. Uh, and we learn quite a bit about this man. In fact, most of what we know about Micah, we discover in the first verse, first, or maybe the first and second verse. And in Micah chapter 1 and verse 1, we read, The word of the Lord that came to Micah the Morishite in the days of Jotham, Ahaz and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, which he saw concerning Samaria and Jerusalem. So here we have a little bio, if you will, of, of Micah, a very brief one. We know his name, his name Micah. It was a very common name in the Old Testament. There are at least seven other men in the Old Testament, different individuals in the Old Testament that are called Micah or Micaiah. Uh, same name, and his name means, who is like Jehovah? What a great name that would be. And the implication is nobody's like Jehovah. So we know his name, and we also know his